Welcome to the Faculty of Education video on how to complete your application for a teaching license. You will be notified by email in your final year with instructions and dates on this application. There are two forms that you need to fill out. The first one is the Ministry Application for a Teaching License. This form can be found on the Student Affairs Office website by clicking Teacher Certification and then by clicking Certification Procedures. And this will bring you to a page where it will explain everything you need to know about filling out um, your teacher ap applications. Like we mentioned before, there are two forms. The first form that you need to fill out is the Ministry Application for a Teaching License. When you click on the link, it will bring you to Electronic Forms. From this page, you want to click on the PDF Ministry Application for a Teaching License form. The first part that, that you need to fill out is what certification you're applying for. Canadian citizens and permanent residents are applying for a teaching diploma. International students are applying for a teaching permit. The next section is your personal information. Please make sure that the address you include in this section is the same address that you have on Minerva. This is where your forms will be sent. You also want to make sure that you correctly include your SIN number and permanent code. The permanent code can be found on your unofficial transcript, which you can access on Minerva. The permanent code is below your name and student ID number. The next section is information on your teacher training program. The first box, you need to include the university. The second box, you need to include the program you are in. So please include more than Bachelor of Education. Indicate which program you are in. The last box, you need to include the name of school and town where you did your third or fourth field experience. You want to make sure again to double check all the information and sign and date the form before you submit it. The second form that you need to fill out is the judicial record. This form again can be found on the Student Affairs website by clicking Teacher Certification and then by clicking Certification Procedures which will bring you to the page with the link to the judicial record. This document is quite big. You only actually need um, pages 22 to 25 of this document, which you can find in the appendix. Appendix 1, Declaration Concerning a Judicial Record. Let's look a little more closely at the judicial record form. You want to make sure you read the first page carefully before you start filling out, out the form. The second and third page is going to ask for your personal information. The third page is where you're going to indicate which teaching license you're applying for. It is important to tick off the first box, applying for a teaching license. You will also want to make sure that the form is signed and dated correctly. The judicial record is then placed in an envelope and sealed. The information on this form is confidential and cannot be read by anyone before submitting. The second form that you filled out before goes on top of the envelope with the judicial record and both are submitted at the same time at the Student Affairs Office in the Faculty of Education. So make sure that you include your name and student number on the envelope. Again, the, the judicial record must be in a sealed envelope with the application for teaching license on top. These forms you do not want to send directly to the ministry. They should be submitted in person at the Student Affairs Office counter in the Faculty of Education. Please do not mail them to the Student Affairs Office. It is best to bring them in in person. Both documents should be submitted at the same time, and it is important not to put the application for teaching license in the same envelope as the judicial record. 
Lastly, before you submit these documents, please make sure there are no holds on your transcript. So if you still have fees to pay, make sure you get that cleared up before you submit the documents because it may delay the processing of your license. Thank you very much for joining us and congratulations on finishing the program.